hi, this is the LG's review of the 13 megapixels camera at the back and 2.1 megapix megapixel camera at the front. Um, okay, for the 13 megapixels camera at the back, it comes uh, equipped with optical image stabilizer whereby it's a technology in a slim design without any protruding lens. So it's flushed and um, it allows bright, brighter and sharper images even in motion or shooting in dim environment uh, okay uh, what else okay uh, this baby packs with a LED camera at the side um, and most of the items are very close to the buttons so sometimes I tend to shift my finger up and it will smudge the lens at the back so I'm hoping that the next iteration um, the buttons will be slightly away from the camera and also this camera uh, it equips with uh, two and in some variants three microphones one at the top and one at the bottom um, this is used very useful um, for noise cancellation as well as the zoom in audio video function which I will talk about in a while well let's just jump into the camera native app so what you have normally is in the normal mode um, you can have let's say you click on the normal mode you can have uh, by default you have nine um, focus points as you can see just now it appears over there and of course you can touch to zoom and you can also have other functions like you can have the cheese shutter on so the moment you say cheese uh, let, let's just try that okay okay let's say one is a cheese it will take a photo okay and for the brightness controls as usual by default you can push it up and down for focus you can have a uh, nine point autofocus as what you see just now you have manual focus whereby um, you can add distances for instance uh, you can have blurred image or sharp image according to your preference and what else uh, face tracking so for for instance um, you can actually uh, track faces if there is one here oops I should okay um, then for the resolutions you have a few resolutions 13 megapixels with you, you have various um, aspect ratio by some year 4.3 and some 16.9 so yeah you can go up to 13 megapixels and way down to 1 megapixels okay let's go to the next function ISO you can have um, different ISO up to 800 or normally I'll just put it to auto um, white balances you can have um, different white balances typical like Samsung you have you can have different uh, filters you can have timer up to about 10 seconds normally I'll off my geotagging because I do not want to waste my battery but this function is useful shutter sound so for those of you who are discreet and want to spy on people I guess you off the shutter sound you can set the volume key to capture or zoom um, as and when you like so once you press the bot uh, by default once you press the bottom button it will activate the camera okay and you can reset everything so let's see the other mode uh, you have short and clear same as Samsung where you can erase the background dynamic tones which you can have lighter tones um, for better image quality I can show you some uh, samples later panorama it ex explains on its own VR panorama basically this you have to constantly uh, panel in uh, horizontal position because if not your images will be distorted uh, burst shots is quite typical in cameras now uh, okay and beauty shot 
it works just like in Samsung cameras, dual cameras. So what you have here is this image of me and you can bring it around, you can change it into different shapes and if you long press on it you can have different sizes for it. Yep. Okay. Time catch short. So you can have burst images a few images in a while so what they show here is a few images so you can select them so this image is for fast moving objects i believe i have some photos of that for you to see this is intelligent auto it's, for, it's a dummy mode so you don't have to set anything the, um, by default it will auto set for you sports for fast moving objects and night mode which is quite clear as when you shift it around and in dim conditions uh, yeah the cam the pictures come out just right and in the video mode it's much more it's slightly interesting because you have effects that you don't normally have in other um, uh, cameras so of course you've got the normal mode you have the live effect whereby if you have images let me just show you right in this case is Michael Jackson so what I can do is I go to mode life effect and I can actually distort his nose so that his nose grows bigger or the eyes bigger Or he can we can have a very big mouth, small eyes, and totally distorted face. But my favorite is still this big nose. So this actually happens in um, in real time, which is quite fun. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's go to dual recording mode, same thing, whereby you can have this mm, window at the corner and again you can have uh, different sizes and you just long press and adjust everything. Yep, okay, oops, sorry let's go back to the camera. And the last mode here is... Um, for the video is tracking zoom um, so what it does is it has this window where you can zoom in and do the different icons or whatever and basically that's it and if you go back to the normal mode you can go to um, the different options again you can have different video sizes up to a minimum of 176 and 144 which is very small you can have audio zoom this is the portion whereby um, the three or two microphones is very useful yeah I haven't personally used it yet but videos show quite promising results okay so basically that's it thank you